Okay, today guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make a popsicle stick butterfly knife. So of course, you're gonna need popsicle sticks, and you're gonna need uh, some uh, toothpicks, um, some kind of tool to go through, make a hole in the popsicle sticks, but you can use scissors, metal scissors, that works, it's just a little bit more difficult. And then you're gonna need some kind of glue. Super glue, I'll be using hot glue, that works. Um, I, there's some other kinds of glue you can glue, use, Elmer's glue. Yeah, just whatever you want. You're gonna wanna take your full drilling tool, whatever, and then your popsicle stick. And you wanna go to the end of the popsicle stick and then you wanna go try to find right in the middle and not too far to the top because if it's too far to the pop, top, then it will crack, so right in the middle. So, right there, that looks good. And then just make a little hole, so you can see right there, I made a little indent. And then you're gonna wanna take that, and go right to the indent, and then you're gonna wanna push down and start twisting. That will get rid of the, the wood. You can just do that until you open the hole. Just like that. And then you'll keep going until you'll see a little dot appear on the other side. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take the toothpick and the um, popsicle stick with the hole in it and line it up with another popsicle stick, just like that. So hold it together with your fingers. Then you're gonna wanna take a marker or just take, if you're using a tool, a tool, a small little point, you can stick it through and push it in and that will mark where you have to uh, start drilling into the other side. So I will stick that in just like that. Push down. We'll see. Yep. I don't know if you can see it, but it made a small mark right there. And then you're going to want to do the same thing for this till when you have four of these sticks with holes at the end. So you're going to want to take one of the sticks with a hole in it and then take your toothpick or other wooden dowels, thin ones, and put it in just so the point's sticking out on the other end and it's on the part where it's thick. See it? Right here there's a point and it gets thinner from the end all the way up till this and it's at its thickest right there. So Then what you're going to want to do is glue right around here. This doesn't need to rotate so that's okay. So you just want to glue it so it stays stuck to that. Once you have it glued, just like this, you can see I stuck it through and then glued it right there and then I chopped it off so now there's just a little bit of glue holding in right there, the knob. I did that, you want to do that twice. So you have two of them that have the sticks in them. Next you're going to want to take a pen and another uh, popsicle stick. You want to take two with a hole in it and line it up. I I always put another popsicle stick right under it 
to lay flat and even on it and you want to get it so line it up right to the end the two that are on top of the popsicle stick you want them to go right up to the end and be directly next to each other and line up just like that then we can take our writing utensil and draw a line right across right there because that's where, where you're going to want to cut so then you want to cut that once you have these two you want to kind of round out the edges with your scissors just to make it look nicer so you can just take them just like that just go around just like that just so they look curved kind of like the other side just makes it look nicer just cut the corners off and curve around the edges do that before. once you have your two pieces lined out just like this you're gonna want to take the two sticks with holes, and again put a popsicle stick so it's level, and lay it just over the edge so they're lined up on it again, just like they were before. Take them. It's a little bit difficult to get them lined up, but you can get them lined up just like that. And then when you have them lined up, you're going to want to take your marker pen or your your screwdriver or whatever you're uh, drilling a hole with and you want to stick it in to mark on the other side just where you will want to make the holes if you're finding it difficult to um, keep them together to mark it you can put a little tape on it right here like I did and then it's a lot easier to line it up because then all you have to do is they're attached and just line up. And then you can just mark it up. Okay. So I've got it lined. And now I'll take my pen and I'll mark it. You want to be careful because sometimes when you're doing that, it splits like this. It's really annoying, but it's part of doing it. fit through just like this and the blade will be able to the end will fit right through there and it will it will be able to swing out so these will come out just like this so you can swing it out so then you're holding the handle and the blades out just like that and then you can have the other sides on the top so it goes and covers it in, if that made any sense. So we'll take this. Now we gotta make the blade. So we're gonna wanna take it and mark. Maybe so we just have like just a little bit. Just like that. So we can kind of see how far we want it to come out. Good. Just like that. So you want it, you want to mark it just like that. So that little end sticks out on the hand and you'll glue it down. You want to cut that out. out. It looks something like this. So I can color this in right there just so you can see where the end is. Right there. You can see now it fits in just like that. So we can take these pieces you made earlier. You might wonder why you made these earlier. It's just so you can judge this. And you can see how big you need to make it. So you can put your blade right in there. At the end we're going to have little stoppers. So you want to mark how far you want your blade to come out to. So it comes out to the end of the popsicle stick. But you want it to come maybe like half an inch short, or 
three fourths of an inch short, so like right there. Okay, I made a little mark. Make the line. Then you're gonna want to cut that part off and make whatever kind of blade design you want. I'll have it just like that. Longer one right there. So I have my blade design right there. So I'll cut that out. And it ends up looking something like this. You can make yours a lot more elaborate. I just wanted to keep mine nice and easy. So what you're want, gonna wanna do then, is you're gonna wanna take it, and you're gonna wanna glue it right between these two holes, right there. That glued on just like that. And then just make sure you can stick your popsicle sticks through just like that and they're able to pivot. Just like that. Mark them so the blade, you want to simulate where the blade would be if it was, the whole thing was closed and then you want to line it up right there. Looks good. And then you want to mark it. So I'll get a little bit of room just for good measure, just like that. And then we'll cut it and make four copies of it. Now, when you glue them together just like that, they should look like this. And now the glue will get covered up, just like that. And then up here, you want to then glue them in just like that, the sticks. So they don't move, just like you did the other side, and you want to trim them off. When you do that, the butterfly knife is done, and it should look just like this. You see, you can flip it around just like a regular butterfly knife. Um, yeah. Just I, I will post the video. If this video gets five likes, I will post a tutorial on how to use a butterfly knife, so like, fling it out, like that, stuff like that, with this butter knife that we made. Something extra you can do is you can add stoppers on the side in here so that the knife doesn't go stick out the other side. I didn't do that, I didn't find it necessary because mine seems to sit pretty well. Um, but you can if you want to. So yeah, overall this is pretty cool. I really like making these. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. If you want me to make a tutorial on how to make a popsicle stick switchblade that actually shoots out, please comment below. Yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.